And good evening and welcome inside of Memorial Stadium here live in Dodge City, Kansas. And great to have you along with us this beautiful Saturday evening. 56 degrees outside here in Dodge City. 90 some percent humidity, warm one over here in the great western part of the state of Kansas. Dalton Janicek, so glad everyone's along with us this evening. Garden City coming into the season, preseason ranked number three in the nation. And uh, are actually preseason ranked number five in the nation. Moved around between third and second for the last three weeks and now finally getting dropped back to number eight after two losses in a row to two uh, tough opponents in the Jayhawk Conference Independence coming two weeks ago and then a tough home loss to non-ranked Hutchison last week. Hutchison, the defending national champions, coming in and getting a big upset on the Bronx Busters and definitely putting in a uh, damper into Thomas Minnick's uh, Coaching plan for the year, all new coaching staff put around him. Definitely going to be a long year for adjustments, but Minnick told me the other day it is part of the game. It's a whole new learning process, and that's how you win national championships by going on a limb and taking risks. Garden City comes into tonight 2-2 two and two in the conference, 2-2 two and two overall. Dodge City, their opponent tonight, 1-3 and three overall, 1-2 and two in the Jayhawk Conference. And uh, Dodge City taking on some tough teams. Let's step aside for the National Anthem pregame ceremonies here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Back inside of the Southwest Kansas Sports Network, Dalton Janicek, so glad everyone's along with us this evening. Bronx Buster fans or Dodge City fans or anyone watching on Buster TV or the Southwest Kansas Sports Network, thank you so much for joining in. We appreciate your support throughout the season. So Garden City coming into tonight 2-2 two two on the season and definitely not to the start they wanted. Both games against Hutchinson and Independence were easily winnable, but uh, we'll talk about why Garden City was unable to get those two wins later on in the pregame show. Dodge City comes in two tonight, one and three overall, one and two in the Jayhawk Conference. They're on a one-game winning streak. They won last week against Fort Scott, 61 to 34. Previous three losses came to Butler, 20 to 30, in a 10-point game, close matchup between the two. And uh, Dodge City took on Coffeyville three weeks ago. Number nine, Coffeyville, tough top 10 opponent right there. Lost 13 to 22, and then played number four, Iowa Western, and only lost 14 to 38. So you got to think. Dodge City one and three, that's a you know seems easy to take down a one and three team, but record doesn't mean anything because you look at the schedule that this team has played and they've kept it within you know 10, 20 points of these opponents, especially number four Iowa Western, and that makes you wonder playing the number eight team in the nation tonight, what is that going to impact for the Broncosters, especially with an offense that has not been taking care of the ball. Uh, would you say uh, the best way they have and that Garden City that's been something known to uh, be the struggle bus for the Bronx Buster the last couple of years is taking care of the ball ball handling penalties and uh, just really shooting themselves in the foot for the last couple weeks Garden City comes into tonight with over a thousand and five hundred eighty six total 
offensive yards. They put up 396 yards per game, and uh, 797 of those yards total this season are passing. Garden City really likes to pass the ball. The rushing Jordan Ford graduated last year and moved on over into Kentucky, signed on. So one of the biggest rushers for the Bronquesters moves on, and uh, it's really hard to take in and uh, refill that position. It takes time to find out what's working, what's not. Garden City really liking the passing game. We talked about the new offensive coordinator, uh, you know, new defensive coordinators, all new offensive coaching staff, Ryan Felker, the offensive coordinator under Thomas Minnick, and Aaron Chetwood, the defensive coordinator for Garden City. So it's going to be an interesting matchup tonight for Dodge, also Dodge City, uh, second year coach as well. So let's go ahead and go through your starting lineups. Starting lineups brought to you by the Cows and Eddie Group tonight. And we'll start with the Dodge City Conquistadors and their starting defense. Starting in the rush, it's the number 16 of Anthony Quinney, the uh, tackle, number 9 of Tay Lologo, and playing the nose guard, the number 90 of Colby Smith, and the number 95 of Jelani Davis, he'll play the tackle, and the number 45 of Trayvon Moore, he'll play the star ring, wing. In the Will and Mike position, number six of Nico Perfetta and the number 50 of Christian Jones. And then back in the safety, the BND corner, Trey Harris, and then the number four safety of Dominic Horton for Dodge City. And uh, in the Jack position, middle linebacker is going to be the number 25 of Anthony Schaefer. The other field safety is the number 23 of Tiguan. Dodge City takes the field. <clears throat> Finish out your starting lineups with another wide receiver, number 14 of Martel Singleton, the number 84 of Favor Akahave, and the tailback of Davion Hodges, number 36 of Diedrich Talbert, and the number 25 of William Knight. Taking a look at your starting lineups for now, the Dodge City offense. Tied in number 87, Trevor Zarbanicki, the left tackle, Isaiah Wright, the left guard, number 60 of Jakarta Liner, the center snapper, number 79 of Anthony Torres, the right guard of 73, Jalen Dunbar, the right tackle, number 75, Malik Nash, the wide receiver, number 18, Famous Palsy, now the wide receiver, number 81 of Fred Efford, and the number 12 of Eli Turner.
to do something first hand here with 155 left to go in our pregame ceremonies. Taking a look at the rest of your starting lineup for the defense in the cornerback, the number five of Chris Smith and Johnny Harris and the 29, your linebackers, the number 45 of Christian Furman, the number 12 of Sean Smith, and the number four of Wembley Malie. And uh, your free safeties are the number 27, Elijah Durrell, and the number 22 of Marcus Dean. And uh, Keelan Kennedy, your cornerback, Randy Robinson, the number 32. As the teams take the field, Dodge City will be going to my left to right. Garden City will be going right to left. As you see it on the Bronx Buster Sports Network. Gorgeous evening here in Dodge City. Great home crowd on hand and an hour drive only from Garden City. You would think Garden City would bring in a lot of fans and, oh, maybe not even 20 over on the other opposing side. So Garden City fans uh, obviously probably going through a lot of frustrations with this team. Garden City 2016 national champions. Uh, three bowl game appearances, 12 Jayhawk titles. You know, this is not the team that anyone, a big fan of any you know, Garden City comes into tonight saying, you know, you know, what's going on with this team? Two and two, they lost to Hutch. Hutch was not this good this year. Uh, you know, Garden City arguably could have won against Hutchison last year over in the uh, the Salt Lake or the Salt City. So, once again, gorgeous evening here in Dodge, 78 degrees out, very humid, warm, dry night. It's going to be a great night of football. A couple clouds off into the distance. Should cool down, cool down later into tonight. Garden City comes in to tonight with 197 yards rushing, 199 just close to 200 yards passing, and total 395. They average 30 points a game. So Kennedy back to the return, and the kick is off. And back to Kennedy. Kennedy will go up the right hash, now breaks the 20. 25 gets wrapped up, keeps going. 30, 35, he'll run out of the bounds. And Kennedy will go out around the 35, and a great return there for Keelan Kennedy. As he brought it up on the left middle hash, Brought it up the right side past the 20, 25, and was pushed out of bounds at around the 35, or around 36 yard line. So Garden City will start off on their own 36. So the number 10 of Reisdorf, quarterback, takes it, quick throw off to the right side. Hill will bring it up about five yards. So Garden City looking to get off to a quick start here. It's second and four. Quick snap back, hand off to the right, gets caught up, switches back up to the left, and he'll get brought down. That was the number fifth, or excuse me, number 25 of William Knight, bringing it up the middle. So it'll be third and third and three on the Bronx Buster's own 44 yard line. Reisdorf takes it, quick pass out to the middle and Charles was looking for right down the middle. He had a right left slant to the middle in between the hashes and just couldn't get a hold of it. He had a piece on it, but great coverage there. That was the number 28 of, or excuse me, the uh, 25 of Anthony Schaefer breaking that tackle or breaking that coverage up. So it'll be fourth down and two. And Garden City will get set to punt the ball away. So great opening drive there for Garden City. They looked really quick and was trying to move the ball but just couldn't get converted. Kick will go back. Dodge City will turn it up the right side. 
Flag will be thrown. And Willie Gaines brought that one up the right side. And the flag came up in Dodge City territory. So three flags now. And this will probably be offsetting. The third flag came in around the 24. Um, so it'll be a legal, legal block in the back on Dodge City. So it'll be 10 yard spot on the foul and it'll be first down for Dodge. So they brought it up around the 40. So Garden City's defense gonna be able to hold Dodge City in their own territory. And beautiful position all the way back on Dodge City zone, uh, about 18 yard line. So Dodge City gonna have to start their drive on the 18 yard line and a uh, big penalty right there and a block in the back and that's gonna affect Dodge City on their opening drive. So 13.47 left to go here in the first quarter. Dalton Janicek bringing you coverage into tonight's matchup with the Bronx Busters and the Conquistadors, one of the biggest rivalries in the Jayhawk Conference. Garden City leads this matchup 55 and 26 overall. Dodge City has not won a game against Garden City since 2015. Big throw down the middle. Great coverage, wrapped up, flag gonna be thrown out. And it's gonna be pass interference on the number 21. So the 21 of Dean gets his arms wrapped around the wide receiver and flag was thrown quick. And there'll be pass interference obviously and I'll push Dodge City roughly right where they were gonna start that drive anyway before they had the block in the back penalty on the kickoff. So Dodge City will be moved up to the 33 yard line, their own 33. It'll be first down and new set of downs with 13.39 left to go in the first half. So two left, one right, two backs in the back. Snap back, handoff, and wrapped up quick by D Darius Johnson and a herd of Bronc Busters. But Darius Johnson getting a big wrap up there and reading the hole pretty big. And now Johnson and Johnson exchanging some words with C.J. Ward, or excuse me, Tyler Curtis, rather. So Curtis in the backfield. You got three on the left, one right for receiving. Snap back. Looks to pass. It'll be a quarterback keep up the right half. Be brought down. Quick brought, bring down by the number 24 of Tyrese Gibson. Gibson. Reads the right, the left option really good and gets the quick wrap up and puts the quarterback down on the ground. And Rashad, Rashad McKee had nowhere to go. He tried getting away up the right side on the right hash and just couldn't get past Gibson. Gibson, one of the better defensive players on this team, defensive end. So third and 14 from Dodge City Zone 29. 12, 19 left to go in the first quarter. We're tied at no score. Snap back, look to pass, receivers spread out. Now the quick throw down the middle, caught out, and it'll be caught by the number 11 of Justin Mitchell. Mitchell came back on a right swing and caught the ball right midfield and ran out of bounds on the right side, on my near side at around the 35. And it's gonna be actually the 32, and it's gonna bring up fourth down and 11 from their own 32. Dodge City gonna punt it away here. And punting it away for Dodge City will be the number 46 of Corey Wilhoy. And Kennedy will be back to receive for Garden City. So two quick drives to open up this game for both Garden City and Dodge City. Snap back, punt away, and it's gonna be a good punt. Kennedy will go back now up to the right side. Cut back middle. Tries to break through some defenders. Be brought down by the neck by the number 45 of, that was the 45 of Trayvon Moore, the linebacker, bringing down Kennedy. And Garden City will set up from their own at around 37 yard line. So Garden City going to start their second drive. Couldn't get out of their own territory in the first drive. And uh, we'll see what the offense can do here. 
So Raysdorf, snap back. Now the run up to the left. Knight will get swallowed up at around the 40 yard line, but a great run up the left hash for William Knight. So William Knight trying to have a beast of a night. This kid can run a bigger tailback. A lot of power in those legs. He can keep going. It takes a lot to stop that kid. So two left, two right. Quick throw to the right side. It'll be received and dropped. And almost a fumble. As Martiel Singleton tried to get the receive. He had a hand on it. He almost received it, but dropped it as he got hit by the defender. So third and seven from for Garden City. And they're doing it from their own 40-yard line. Garden City trying to get into Dodge City territory for the first time tonight. 11.02 left to go here in the first quarter. Snap back, two left, two right, go out for the receive. Pass will be thrown to the 83. And he'll catch it, that's Vontarius Hill. And Hill will bring in a couple yards at around the 49 yard line. And it'll convert for a first down, Garden City, their first conversion of the night comes on the second drive on a beautiful pass to Vontarius Hill on the left side. Gets brought down by the 28 of Thaddeus Harris. Now tight formation, one receiver right, two backs. Snap back. Knight will take it up the left side. Sneaks through. Gets through a gap. Knight at the 35, 30, 20. He's gone. 10. Touchdown, William Knight. And Garden City will put themselves on the board first here at Memorial Stadium. William Knight brings it up the left side and all the way up the left hash from the 49-yard line. And Garden City, after the first down conversion, puts it into the end zone. A beautiful play by William Knight, breaking through defenders, finding the gap. The offensive line give him credit, making the holes available. And Knight takes it to the house in Dodge City, unable to answer anything here. Seven or six to nothing. We'll go for the PAT. It should be 7 0. Kick is up, flag is up as well. Kick is good. We'll see what the flag will be, but it'll probably be, it'll probably be an offside. But Garden City strikes first here. We'll take it with them on the Bronx Buster Sports Network. Garden City 7, Dodge City 0. Back inside of the Southwest Kansas Sports Network, Dalton Janicek bringing live coverage of the Garden City Bronkbusters and the Dodge City Conquistadors. William Knight taking it down to the house, a 49-yard recept or rush. Broke through a lot of defenders and found a gap and just took it to the house on the left side. So Garden City 7, Dodge City nothing. And the penalty was for the nose guard being lined up over the center. So penalty will be declined out was declined obviously Garden City now will go to kick it off so Garden City able to get themselves on the board prior to Dodge City probably an important thing to do as well as Garden City will not get the ball in the second half Dodge City reluctant to defer big hit there at the 30 yard line
So Dodge City will line it up. Two receivers tight on the left, two spread on the right. You got a backer, you got a running back in the back. Now motion to the right. Snap back, handoff to Curtis. Curtis will get wrapped up at around the 28 yard line. It'll make it second and nine for Dodge City. So 10.02 left to go in the first quarter. Garden City able to get on the board 7 nothing early on in their only second drive. So now two receivers right, one left, one in the back. Snap back, handoff to Curtis. He'll put it up the left side but gets swallowed up by Johnson and several Bronkbusters will be there to stop him and close the gap. And Dodge City will make it third and about seven from their own 31 yard line. Dodge City unable to convert any third down conversion so far tonight. So Knight in the backfield. McGee, your quarterback for Dodge. Snap back, four receivers go out. Quick throw to the left sideline. It was intended for the number 18 of Famous Palsy. Palsy just could not get any attention on it. And that'll bring up fourth down and seven. And the punt team, the special teams will head to the field as Dodge City will look to punt this one away and give Garden City the ball back. And after that second drive from Garden City, you almost think, oh man, do we really want to give the ball back to the Bronx Buster is able to put it in after that first down conversion. So Kennedy set back to receive at around the 30 yard line. Well, Corey Wilholt punts it away. That one high and long, beautiful spiral heading all the way back to the 20, 15 yard line. And it'll be touched at around the 23 yard line. And that's where Garden City will start their third drive at around the 18 yard line. We'll take a 30 second timeout, be back for Garden City's third drive. 8.47 left to go here in the first quarter. Here, I've got over 50 academic programs at my fingertips. Here, I get a scholarship. To do what I enjoy. Here, I form lasting friendships through Buster Life. Here, I get closer to my bachelor's degree for a fraction of the price. Here, I find my rhythm as part of the Buster team. Here, I set the stage to make my dreams reality. Because from here, here, or here, I can go anywhere. And the Dodge City Conquistadors here at Memorial Stadium. Big hit. And it'll be a pitch back now. Breaking three at the 20. 25, 30, 40, 50. Be broken up at the 42-yard line. And a big run coming from Davion Hodges. Hodges with the quick throwback. And he gets the reverse. And Hodges takes it all the way up the right side. And a big carry for Garden City. And Garden City really coming into tonight with a big statement against the Dodge City Conquistadors. Last time Dodge City or Garden City played here at Memorial Stadium was back in 2019, a game where Garden City went to the half down by 27 points as Knight gets swallowed up into the backfield. And he gets brought down by the number 95 of Jelani Davis. Davis was able to get in the backfield and read the hole really quick. Beautiful reverse play though, going back to Davion Hodges and hit the reverse play gets thrown back. It looked like it was gonna go up the middle. Big hit there, but Hodges came away with it. Now up the middle, Knight will go, gets swallowed up, but he'll bring it up for maybe a gain of two yards. Keeps going. Garden City offense will try to push him some more, but he'll break, he'll get past the 35 and that's where it'll be. He'll bring up third down and about eight. So Garden City looking to convert here third and eight from their own 35 yard line, or excuse me, from Dodge City's 35 yard line. And Garden City only in the third drive, looking to put 
a 14 deficit on Dodge. Now, Albert goes up to 30, gets brought down. So Diedrich Talbert had the carry there, brought it up the left, got brought down at around the 27 yard line. We'll say 27 yard line and Garden City will set it up. First down though, that's all that matters as they try to get into the red zone. Motion over, it's Keyshawn Buckley. Now the snap up, brought up the middle by Knight. Knight will get brought down and he might gain a yard. And it'll be actually second down and 10, so no gain there. So Coach Minnick switching it up between the rushing and the passing. We've seen a lot, 50-50 from the Garden City offense and it's really working on the Dodge City defense, unable to cover. So the motion by Hodges. Now the hand up the middle by Talbert. He'll be brought down at around the 18 yard line, but a big carry and it should bring it about third and about two. Yep, it'll be third and two now for Garden City. And that's a big carry there by Talbert. So Talbert now getting some big looks in as William Knight will take a seat over on the Bronkbuster side. He's still suited up, standing right behind Minnick, ready to come back in. Might have just needed a breather. So four back, one receiver on the right. So the handoff to the left. Now Talbert will bring it up the left side, be brought down at around the 12-yard line. And two Dodge City defenders were on him. It was the number six of Nico Perfado and the 45 of Excuse me, this 45 of Trayvon Moore able to bring down Talbert. But Talbert, last three carries, has really been providing for the Bronkbusters and really feeding this offense. As now Garden City brings it into the red zone. Now the handoff to Talbert, swallowed up middle. It was a quarterback keep. And So Dodge City gets back into the backfield. It'll bring up second and long. Garden City actually needs to convert to their own to Dodge City's four yard line, and it'll bring up a whole new set of downs. So it's not second and sh or second and goal. It's actually second and long. Actually about 15. So two receivers left, two right, one in the back. Snap back, looks to throw. Quick throw out the left side. It'll be received. Breaks the tackle. Brought down by the 45 of Trayvon Moore, and that was the 81. It'll bring up third down now for Ward Garden City. Big receive there by Darnell. Third and five, Garden City needs to get their own four yard line for a new set of downs. Now, Breaks the tackle, brings it up the left side. It'll be a keep. Now pushes off with stiff arm, and it'll be a loss of yards. It'll be a loss of about one yard, and it'll bring up fourth. And about, I think they're going to say fourth and eight. Actually, it'll be fourth and seven from Dodge City's 10 yard line. Garden City. Going to see. So Reisdorf will come back in. And Garden City going to look to go for it here on a fourth down and seven. And Coach Minnick might think they can punch in the time, punch in the touchdown here. Now a timeout will be called as expected. So Coach Minnick will call a timeout. We'll take it with them. Be back in a minute here on the Bronkbuster Sports Network. Garden City. It's fourth and seven from Dodge City's own 10 yard line. Looking to punch in another touchdown here. We'll be right back.
here on the call. 3.25 left to go in the first quarter. Garden City 7, Dodge City 0. As finally the momentum on offense is halted for the Brockbusters as they attempt to kick. Back inside of the Brockbuster Sports Network, Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Don Genesec bring you live coverage. And Garden City will change it up now. They're looking to go for it, but out of the timeout, they're going to set it up for kicking formation, and they're going to go for the, the three-point conversion. P kick is good, splits the uprights, and it'll be an easy three points for Garden City. So the past two drives have been successful for Thomas Minnick's offense, and uh, we'll take it with them. Dodge City going to look to answer back. So Garden City now 10 to nothing over the Dodge City Conquistadors with 321 left to go in the first quarter. And we'll take it with them, be back in one minute on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Back inside of the Bronkbuster Sports Network, Southwest Kansas Sports Network, live over here in Dodge City. And uh, right now, Dodge Conquistadors probably want to get the heck out of Dodge. Garden City's off to a wonderful start here. And the kick is back, and it's go far back. It'll be a touchback for Dodge City. And they'll start their drive from their own 20 yard line. So one of the biggest stories coming into tonight was Garden City's ball handling issues and their penalties. Garden City came into tonight with 47, get this, 47 penalties so far in the season. Actually, correction, 42, but give or take, Garden City, it wouldn't surprise me seeing 47 on that statistic, but still 42 penalties coming into tonight. You got to think, our 40 one of those or 40 of those, the reason Garden City could be two and two with two losses on two big conference opponents, Hutchison last week in number seven, Independence the week before. This game brought to you by Papa John's Pizza in Garden City. And a quick put down and swallowed up by Tyrese Gibson in the backfield. And Shemar Pearl getting into the backfield. And actually, it'll be Smith in the backfield getting to Rashad McKee. Two fifty left to go here in the first quarter. Dodge City with the ball on their own twenty-yard line. Dodge City trails to the Broncosters ten nothing here, quick in the first half. Quick throw, be caught up and brought down at the 30 yard line. That's the 87 of Trev Trevor Zarbanicki. Zarbanicki was able to get the quick pass to him on the right side, able to bring up a couple yards and he'll bring up third and about three, or actually three, to, three and four for Zarbanicki. And clock still running 215 now here to go in the first quarter. It'll be third and three on Dodge City's own 32-yard line after Zarbadicki with a great reception there. Motion. Hand off up to the back. It's Tyler Curtis. Curtis breaks up the middle, still keeps going. Johnson will come in and bring down the final tackle, but it'll be a big pickup for the first down for Curtis, Tyler Curtis, and we got an injury in the backfield. A Bronc Buster is down in the backfield. So we'll take a timeout as Dodge City gets the first down, and it'll set them up at their own 45. But we'll take a timeout here for an injured Bronc Buster. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Bronc Buster Sports Network.
Here, I push my comfort zone to discover what I can truly do. Here, I'll collaborate and be challenged the same as a four-year school. Here, I can make new friends and make a difference. Here, I take my first step towards a degree without taking two steps back financially. Here, I'm more than part of a team. A class. A group. Or a campus. I'm home. Come home to Garden City Community College, because from here, you can go anywhere. Enroll today. So Shemar Pearl will walk back to the Garden City sideline. Pearl was the one injured in the backfield. He got up on his own power, assisted off by trainers. But Shemar Pearl looks to be okay. He'll probably get evaluated, but be ready to go back here before the second quarter stops. Dodge City, though, with a big completion there by Trevor Zarbenicki before that break. And now Dodge City on their own 45-yard line trying to make something happen here before the end of the first quarter. 140 left to go. Now, Curtis brings it up the right side. Flag thrown. And Curtis will probably only get about a gain of a yard, maybe two if he's lucky, but a big flag on the play. One Conquistador's helmet was off. And so we'll see what the penalty will be for. But I believe it's going to be on Dodge City. But that's always a 50-50 <laughs> guess. So the officials and the line judges are discussing the situation. And the official will give us the signal. The umpire sideline judge. And here's the official. So, some further deliberation down around the 40 yard line. Now, here's the call. So it'll be a personal foul on the number five for hands to the face. And it'll be offsetting penalties, hands to the face for both teams. And so both players had hands to the face, basically. Both players will stay in the game because they wore, or excuse me, they were personal fouls. And the NJCAA coming out with a new rule last year about players with a certain amount of personal fouls. But both players will stay in the game. Now the snap back, throw to the right side, wide open is Tyler Curtis and he can't get the catch down. Tyler Curtis was wide open and couldn't get to it. The ball was overthrown, 113 left to go here in the first quarter. And it'll bring up second down and 10 for Dodge City from their own 45 yard line. The Conquistadors had a beautiful opportunity to get a first down and maybe more from Tyler Curtis, but was unable to get the reception down. But got to do a better job watching that running back coming out of the backfield for a reception. It could have been six if it wasn't for the poor efforts receiving by Curtis and a little bit of an overthrow. Bro, you have to catch that though. One in motion. Now the snap back under pressure. Gets rid of it just in time. But the 87 of Trevor Zarbenicki able to catch it. Was he in bounds? No. The sideline official says he was out of bounds. And it'll bring up third and 10 for Dodge City. Tyler Zarbenicki had it mid air to the back, back to the Dodge City sidelines. Mid air catches it, but unable to get the two feet into the sideline. And. And so Zarbanicki will come back in to the game. Justin Mitchell comes out. Dodge City with a couple uneasy breaks. Garden City with a lot of good breaks. And now Dodge City is going to call timeout 
That's their first one called this half. So 107 left to go in the first quarter. Dodge City on their own 45, third and 10. We'll take it with them. Be back in 30. I currently work in Lane County on the volunteer department. I want to be a full-time firefighter. I wanted to show my daughters what strong is. We call it the burn building. The feeling you get after you go in, the adrenaline. Learning more, getting more experience under our belt. Adapt and overcome. You can't train for every scenario, but you can be mentally prepared for it. So you make that cut and then you see all the smoke come out, you know you've done your job. When they leave here, they're ready to go. If you want to do this, if this is your dream. 100% just go for it. One oh seven left to go in the first quarter. Darlton Janicek bring you live coverage. Live here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Dodd City on their own 45, third and 10. They need to convert here. Pass back, gets swallowed up. Quarterback keep, and it's going to be a quarterback sack from Dar Darius Johnson, able to get into the backfield. Johnson, a big powerhouse, the defensive tackle for Garden City, able to bring up fourth down and 10 on Dodge City. And Dodge City will now have to kick it away. Marius Johnson chopped down. Rashad McGee in the backfield. McGee was trying to get rid of it, find an open coverage. There was two wide receivers wide open. And unable to get rid of it in time. Kennedy will be bringing it back up the right side. Now he trips up, keeps going. He'll be brought down at around the 15 yard line. And Kennedy, Kennedy was trying to break a couple of oncoming defenders and just got slipped up on the turf. So Kennedy had a really good return on the second kick earlier in the first quarter. And Keelan Kennedy doing a heck of a job tonight in the backfield on the kick return. So Kennedy brings it up to the 15 yard line, or excuse me, the 13 yard line, and Garden City will start their drive with 13 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Three receivers on the left, on my left, or near side, one on the far side for Garden City. Rystorf throws it off to the left. And Hodges brings it up the left side and he'll bring up the first down. And, and actually it'll be second and one. So Hodges brings up a nine yard receive and they might even bring out the chain gain to, to uh, measure it as we head into the second quarter. Dodge City trails Garden City 10 nothing as Garden City looks to and extend their Matchup lead over Dodge City Conquistadors come into tonight 55-26 overall against this team. They look to keep it going. So we'll take it with them. Be back in a minute here on the Bronkbuster Sports Minute. Or excuse me, the Bronkbuster Sports Network. We'll be back in one minute. inside of the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Dalton Janicek bringing you live coverage of tonight's game. Dodd City Conquistadors taking on the Garden City Bronkbusters here in Dodd City live at Memorial Stadium, home of the Dodd City Red Demons. And Garden City will start their drive now from the 23-yard line. 
Big throw up the middle will be caught, brought down by the number four of Dominican Horton. And Davy, or excuse me, Damian Hodges able to get the reception. Hodges had the good catch before the quarter. And Davion Hodges. Really starting to impress for the Bronkbusters. Two receivers on the left, one on my near side. Flag thrown, but a catch from Talbert. Talbert, big, puts the head down, big hit. And a big scuffle over on the right side. Flag was thrown down at around Garden City, or excuse me, Dot City's 49 yard line. Actually, two flags on the field. And it's on the Garden City's backfield. We'll see what the penalty will be for. Both flags on Garden City's side. So we'll see what the penalty will be for if your Garden City don't threaten it. Although you come into tonight with 42 penalties so far on the season, that's something you've got to work on. But Garden City off to an okay start. You might be able to accept one or two penalties here and there. The official and judges discussing. Try to figure out where the penalty came from on that replay. Kind of hard to tell. Big hit there, as you saw from Talbert. So the official and the refs talking with Dodge City, so it looks like it, the penalty will go on Garden more than likely. See what Dodge City wants to do with the penalty. And now here comes the official. Both teams will have fouls. And so it'll be a personal foul on the 75 for Garden City. It'll replay first down, so it'll be offsetting penalties, and it'll be an unsportsmanlike for the 75. So Chris Carter with the personal foul for Garden City. So first and 10 from Dodge City's 45. Talbert up the left side will get brought down at around the left hash. And it'll be a loss of yards. So 14.08 left to go here in the first half. The Bronx Busters lead 10-0 over the Conquistadors. And what has been an okay opening half for the Bronx Buster offense. Snap back, Reistorf looks for the throw. He's got plenty of time. Great coverage by the O-line, gets tapped up. Oh no, almost intercepted. And it is intercepted by the number six. That was Nico Perefto. Nico Perefto gets the interception for Dodge City as the ball was tipped in the middle of the field by a bad throw by Reisdorf. And Dodge City gets away with the interception and you gotta think Nico Perefto was right there, perfect timing for that interception. And now this kind of changes the game here. Dodge City with a lot of momentum. You got to think, what can they do with that? With 13:35 left to go in the first half, Dodge City able to get a touchdown in before the half. That could help them as they get the ball back after the half. So Dodge City will take over from their own 41-yard line, first and ten. 
Snap back, hand off to Tyler Curtis. Now the reverse, now back to the throw. Beautiful reverse, can they catch it? And it's not gonna be worth it. It was a handoff to Curtis, the reverse. Actually, we'll just call it a triple reverse back to the quarterback of Rashad McGee. And McGee was unable to get a good throw on it as he was under pressure. Garden City's defense read that really well, but. And it'll be an offsides penalty on the defense. So Garden City shooting themselves here in the foot. Another penalty. It'll be five yards. And it'll be first and five for the Conks. It's Dodge City. Looks to put their name on the board for the first time tonight. 13.27 left to do it in the first half. Two receivers on the right, one in the back. Tyler Curtis now up the middle, gets a good drive. Be brought down at around the 50-yard line right over the D.C. logo. And it'll be second and two for the Conks. Dodge City in those purple uniforms trimmed in white, white numerals with the gold trim. Garden City in the white uniforms, yellow pants, yellow helmets with the brown numerals trimmed in gold. And Dodge City looking for a first down now. The throw back under pressure. It's a high throw to the sideline. And a flag will be thrown over to the left side back in the secondary. And we'll see what the flag will be for, but Rashad McGee was unable to find anyone, and it could be an intentional grounding. He, there didn't look like there was any receivers over to the right side, and that actually might be what the penalty is, as it looked like there was no receivers anywhere near where the ball was thrown. So it'll be a holding call on Dodds on Garden City. So instead of the intentional grounding for Dodge City, it's going to be a holding call on Garden. And now it brings up a new sets of downs for Dodge City, and it puts them inside of Garden City's territory for the first time tonight. So for the first time tonight, Dodge City within Garden City territory as they look to put one on the board. 12.40 left to go in the first half. Now it's bad snap. Ball loose. Caught up at the 35. Picked up. And Garden City will take the ball away. It was the 45 of Christian Furman. Furman able to get the ball at around the 45-yard line. The ball was a bad snap to the backfield. McGee fumbled it. And Garden City gets away with a lot of mistakes there in that drive to take the ball back with 12.40, or excuse me, 12.35 left to go in the first half. And a big break. You gotta thank the defensive stop there and great read in the backfield. And just a big penalty or a big mistake coming from the Conquistadors to change up the prediction of this first half. Dodge City was so close to putting it in. Now a quick throw to the left side, and it'll be bad throw from Reisdorf. As he was looking to give it to Davion Hodges. Hodges was the intended receiver on the left side. And he threw a couple yards behind Hodges. So will bring up second down and 10 from Dodge City's own 32-yard line. Snap back, quick throw to the left side. And Charles will bring up a couple yards, get pushed out of bounds. And it'll bring about third down and probably four. Actually, no, it'll be third down and three is how they'll spot the ball. 12.20, clicking down on the score clock. Garden City in tight formation. Look for the keep up the middle. No, they'll throw it out to the right side, and you'll get caught up. 
as Montarius Hill gets brought down on the right side. And actually that was Sean Charles, rather. So Charles unable to bring up any yards and actually it'll be a loss of yards. So fourth down and five on Dodge City's 27 yard line with 11.35 left to go. And Garden City looks like they're gonna go for the three point conversion possibly. No, it looks like, yeah. Yep, so they will go for the three point conversion. So William Gregg will set up around the 45. The kick is up and field is good. The field goal, beautiful from the 35 yard line in Garden City. Extends their lead 13 to nothing here on the Bronkbuster Sports Network. We'll take it with them. 11 13 left to go in the first half. All right here. Don't go anywhere. At Garden City Community College, our hybrid approach to education lets you learn in a way that's best for you on campus or from home, online, and hands on. The credit you get at GCCC is the same you get at a four year university with more one on one instruction, transfers to any Kansas school, and costs a third of the price. If you're looking for a quality education that's affordable, then come to Garden City Community College because from here, you can go anywhere. It's a Back inside of the Bronkbuster Sports Network, Dalton Janicek, so happy you guys are along with us this evening. Garden City, coming off of a bad two weeks at home, and they'll go on the road and up 13-0 for a touchback, and Dodge City looks to take the ball back. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by the Calzanetti Group in Garden City. Yvonne Sperry and Craig Calzanetti. Also tonight's broadcast brought to you by Papa John's Pizza in Garden City. You can go visit them on Kansas Avenue. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Thank you for sponsoring the Southwest Kansas Sports Network tonight. Also Lewis Automotive, a proud sponsor for Garden City High School Athletics. Give them a shout out this tonight as well. And Curtis will get swallowed up by a herd of Bronc Busters. And it looked like it was actually the number 90 of uh, Elijah Hill. So, excuse me, Eli Hill, number 90, able to get in the backfield right there. Dodge City, second and 11 from their own 24, 10. 40 left to go. 11, 10 seconds on the play clock. They've got to get rid of it here. Five now on the play clock. Dodge City running out of time. They get it snapped in time. Now the switch off. Big hit on the right side coming from the 13 of Jacob Hollins. Hollins with a big hit. And it'll bring up third down. And 14, so big loss thanks to Jacob Hollins. Hollins had a big hit there, came flying up the right side to bring down the tackle. McGee gets the snap back. Belt high snap, gets rid of it, and connects with number one. And it was only a pick of about six for Basin, and it'll be fourth and 14 on Dodge City's own 21, and Dodge City just struggling tonight to convert the ball. So 
So Dodd City set to punt it away and give the ball back to Garden City after they just put up a three-point conversion. And punt comes near side right around, lands the 28-yard line. It'll roll up to the 34, 35. And Garden City will have great starting position on their own 34-yard line here with 9.02 left to go in the first half. Let's take a bet, look back at your scoring drive so far from the night. William Knight was able to connect on a 49-yard rush to bring the Broncosters up 7-0. Then Jason Hernandez with a 27-yard field goal to extend the lead 10-0 in the first quarter. And then here just momentarily ago, or moments ago, William Gregg was able to put up a 13 0 lead for Garden City after he connected for 44 yards on the field goal after Dodge City's fumble recovery on Garden. Hodges up the right side. He'll bring up about five yards, brought out of bounds by the number 40 of. Excuse me, brought out of bounds by the 40 of Bobby Britton. Bobby Britton brought him out of bounds. And Garden City will set it up from their own 38-yard line. Second down and six, 8.45 left to go here in the first half. Dodge City will get the ball back coming out of the halftime, but it might not matter if Garden City can extend this lead even more. Snap back, fake off. No, Hodges will take the ball up the middle. He'll get a couple yards, maybe three, three to four. And he'll bring up third down and about three, four excuse me, for Garden City on their own 41-yard line. Hodges getting a lot of looks tonight. Him and William Knight. Knight hasn't really got nothing since the first quarter since he went out. So Hodges and Diedrich Talbert really getting a lot of the carries so far in the second quarter. The snap back, Reisdorf gets rid of it on the left side. Man open, spins around, gets free for a couple more yards. And it was the 83 of Ontarius Hill with the reception on the left side, plucked it out of the air and brought in for a couple more yards. But the biggest thing, big conversion there for Garden City with 750 marking down here in the first half. And the Bronquesters trying to drive in another score on the Conquistadors. The Conquistadors have been silent so far tonight. They were able to get into Garden City territory for the first time back in earlier this second half, but that ended quickly after a fumble ball. Now the quick throw there to Vontarius Hill. Hill couldn't get a piece of it that time, had a couple fingertips on the ball, but great coverage there by the 28, or excuse me, the 38 rather, of Jalen Beasley on the coverage. So the Bronx Busters will bring up second down and 10 from their own 48-yard line. So three receivers tight on the left. Now the handoff to Hodges up the middle. Hodges breaks free, will get a couple yards. And it might be five right there, maybe six, depending on the spot. So it'll be third down and six from... Dodge City's now 48. So Garden City able to get into Dodge City territory now. 7 10 left to go. They'll reset it. Rice Store checks the call. And the snap back. Belt high snap. Looks back. Has plenty of time in the pocket. Great look there for the 84 of Favior Okave, but Okave had a couple tips on it, unable to bring it in to the chest, and just good coverage there by the Conquistadors. It'll bring up fourth down and six from Dodge City's 48-yard line, and special teams will hit the field. So Garden City will kick it away here with 6.48 left to go in this first half. What a quick game this has gone, especially for Garden City, able to con able to put in points three times tonight. Off of, one of them off of a Dodge City miscue, and a fair catch will be called at the 10-yard line, and we'll take it with them. 
So Garden City unable to do anything on that last drive, but they still lead 13 to nothing over the Dodge City Conquistadors. Dodge City will start with the ball on their own 11 yard line when we come back all right here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. It's a spark, a spark that makes you want to work with your hands and your heart, knowing you're essential to your family and your community. At Garden City Community College, we have programs designed to quickly get you to work. In as little as four months, you can jumpstart a good paying career, find job security, and not break your budget. Being essential has never been more affordable. Back Garden here City on the Bronkbuster Sports Network, Don Janicek. So glad you were along with us. Dodge City on their own 12-yard line. They got 643 to do something with it. And the throw hits the back of the receiver's head. That was the number 24 of Tyler Curtis going back for the reception on the right side. He had no eye on it as the ball bonked off the back of his shoulder pads. And so second down and 10, Dodge City's 12-yard line. And you got to think Rashad McGee starting to stumble up on a lot of his own mistakes already in the first half. What will Dodge City do to clean it up coming into the second half? McGee gets blocked up on the left side. Gibson was able to block it up. And Garden City, this defense holding this Conquistador offense to a minimal tonight. Third down and 10 from their own 12 yard line and 635 left to go. Play clock at 20. They got time to do some adjusting. 12 yard line, Dodge City, third down and 10. They've only been able to convert into Garden City territory one time tonight. Throw, quick throw pass on the right side. It was brought in and I believe and Gaines will bring it in and bring up fourth down and three for Dodge City on their own 19 and special teams will come out once again and Garden City looks to get the ball back with still six minutes and so left to go in the first half. Corey Wilholt punts it away as Kennedy in the backfield and he'll wave it off as that ball will bounce out around the 50 yard line. It'll be great field position for the Bronkbusters. So Garden City gonna get a big advantage here. They're gonna say the ball went out on Dodge City's 41 yard line rather than Garden City's 45. So it'll bring up first down and 10, 546 left to go here in the second quarter. William McKnight still on the sideline. Actually, no correction. Knight will take the ball now on the left side. He'll drive up, and it's a fake by. And Purnell with the fake up the middle will bring up a couple yards for the Bronkbusters. It'll be a gain of six, second down and four from Dodge City's own 35 yard line. 5.20 left to go until halftime. The snap back, now the handoff tonight, the fake throw to the right. Now Knight breaks up to 25-20. He'll cut right, now left, brings up the sideline, and William Knight puts it in for a touchdown flag thrown at the five yard line. William Knight though, able to get in for a Garden City touchdown. We'll see if the call comes back, but William McKnight, or excuse me, William Knight able to get a big run. They're going to say it was a holding call on Sinox Jarman. And it'll be a first down, though, for Garden City. So instead of the touchdown for 
night, it'll be actually a instead of the touchdown, it'll be a first down though. But William Knight could have gotten away with a touchdown there and just a holding call on Garden City, pushing him back. So it'll be a first down though for GC. Now the reverse now, pitch back and not going to be able to get anywhere with it was the number 19 of David Elder. Elder unable to get any yards right there and it'll actually be a loss of four, maybe five now. So second down and 17 from Dodge City's 25. 445 left to go until the half break. Garden City still leads 13 to zero over the Conquistadors. Dodge City unable to answer anything so far in the first half. Now the snap back, handoff to Knight. Knight will push up the middle, get brought back though, and it'll be a gain of about nothing as the Conquistadors were able to blow up the run. So now a different quarterback comes in. Reisdorf will come in. So three receivers on the left, one near side. Snap back, fakes to the left. Got to get rid of it. No coverage there, and the flag's going to come in. Three flags coming in all different directions on the field. One in the secondary, one on the left side, and one in the backfield on Garden City. And we'll see. One of them is going to be pass interference on, Gar on Dodge City. That's a for sure, the secondary. And it was the 33 of Davion Desme. But one flag in the backfield for Garden City, so three flags total on the field. Two of them were in the backfield, or in the secondary for Dodge. And both penalties will occur on the Conquistadors. And so the pass inter Interference will come on Dodge City. Both penalties on Dodge, and then it'll be a roughing the passer penalty. So that's what your other flag in the backfield on Garden City was for. So Garden City getting a big break. So Garden City pushing the ball down even more on Dodge City's own 12 yard line within red zone. And first down and 10, new sets of downs. Minnick's gotta be happy on the far sideline. Now snap back, it'll be a handoff. Knight will go up the right side, cut back left. He'll get brought down at around the 10 yard line. Might be a gain of one. And it'll bring up second down. And I was right, second down and two. It was a gain of two yards there. On Dodge City zone 11 yard line. 320 left to go. Play clock reset. Garden City within striking distance before the half. Dodge City gets the ball back in the second half, but it might not matter if Garden City can punch in another seven points. Now the snap back, Bell High snap, looks left, gets rid of it, and it'll be passed over to Martiel Singleton. Singleton will bring it in for a loss of yards, and it'll now bring up third down and about 17. And Singleton, when the, was able to get past a group of conquistadors on the far side. So third and 17. 2.30 left to go in the first half. Two receivers left, two right. Knight in the backfield. Now the snap back, rolls right, gets rid of it. Beautiful catch brought in. That was the 82 of Kayshawn Buckley. Buckley was able to bring it in at around the three yard line and Buckley will bring in a first down for Garden City. And great break there for, and actually no, it will not be a first down. It'll be fourth and two. Fourth and three for Garden City. And Garden City unable to convert on downs here. It was a beautiful catch by Kayshawn Buckley on the right sideline. 
is able to get the two-toe tap in before pushed out of bounds by a conquistador. And Garden City going to look to go for it. And it'll be a timeout as expected. So Dot and Dodge City will burn a timeout. Garden City able to get within striking distance once again. 2.20 left to go. We'll stick with it here on the Bronx Foster Sports Network as Garden City off to a great start here in the first half. Dodge City started off winning the toss and they deferred for the second half. Garden City started with the ball and able to do anything on the first conversion, but then second drive, William Knight with a 49-yard rush up the middle, broke off to the left side, put 7-0 up on the board for Garden City. Then Jason Hernandez came in and put up a 27-yard field goal to extend Garden City's lead 10 to nothing. And then right in the second quarter, William Gregg from 44 yards was able to bring up 13-0. And now Garden City within red zone and 2.20 left to go. Fourth down and three. They look to get five yards here and punch it in for either a first down or even a touchdown. Either one. So Garden City will be back in tight formation. As Purnell in the quarterback spot. Purnell hands it off to Hodges. Hodges sneaks up the right side. Still up on his feet. He'll get the first down. Davion Hodges with the quick left and right slide up the side, left hash line, and it'll bring up a first down just short of the touchdown. It'll be first down and one to go on Dodge City's own one yard line with two minutes left to go. One receiver on the left side. Purnell still in the quarterback spot. Now the motion to the right side. And that'll put Elder over to the right side. And it'll be a legal motion on Garden City. And it'll be an automatic five yards. And it'll bring up second and six. So it'll bring up first and six. Garden City on Dodge City's six yard line, first down and goal. 130 clicking left away on the scoreboard. The motion to the left side. Now snap back, rolls right. Quick throw up the middle, and it was a dropped pass by the Logan Hartzell. Hartzell unable to keep a hold on the ball. That would have been a beautiful touchdown pass to Hartzell to the right side. But unable to keep hands on it. So 125 left to go here in the first half. Garden City still leads 13 to nothing over the Conquistadors. Dodge City has not won against the Bronc Busters since 2015, something they'd like to change tonight, but it's gonna come on a hard task. Now the sneak up the middle, and he's gonna bring up a couple yards. It's gonna be short of the touchdown though. And he'll bring up third down and goal from Dodge City's own three yard line. So one minute left to go as the clock stays ticking here at Memorial Stadium. The Bronc Busters going to try to make quick work here on a third down and goal situation. They already lead 13 to nothing over the Conquistadors, but would like to extend that lead before Dodge City gets the ball back in the second half. Now the snap back. Run up the middle. Quick throw. It'll be brought in. Did he catch it? Touchdown, Garden City. Garden City brings in a touchdown to a pass. I believe the receiver was Sean Charles. And Garden City extends their lead 19 to zero over Dodge City. 37 seconds left to go. And actually correction, that was Keyshawn Buckley with the touchdown. So 19-0, the kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Garden City 
20 point lead over the Conquistadors with 37 seconds left to go before the half. Dodge City gets the ball back at the half. We'll take it with them though. 20 to nothing. Bronc Busters look to add a win to the column before the halftime break. Here, we'll, don't go anywhere. Be back in 30. Back on the Bronchester Sports Network as Farvo Okave was the one on the reception for the touchdown before the break. It'll be first and 10 from Dodge City's 25 for the Conquistadors. They only got about 35 seconds to do something with it here. As Dodge City trails this conference matchup all time 56 to 26. Garden City looking to make quick work on DC tonight. Winds coming out of the east at around an easy eight, 10 miles an hour. Beautiful night here. Look up the middle. It'll be a quick run. Now the 50. 45, he'll run out of bounds. It was the number one of Cameron Fanson as, as Faison brings it up to the 45-yard line, and it'll be a big gain for Dodge City with 30 seconds left to go here in the first half. They trail by 20 to the, Conquist or to the Bronx Busters, but Dodge City will get the ball back in the second half. This will be a big touchdown if Dodge City can get it in. They got 30 seconds to do something with it. Clock is stopped. Ball is fumbled in the backfield. Dodge City was able to get back on top of it, looks like. Tyrese Gibson's in the pile. And it'll be Dodge City's ball still, but it chopped off about 15 seconds on the clock. So Dodge City now with only 17 left in the half, and they'll burn a timeout. Dodge City's last timeout. As Garden City looks to make a big defense defensive stop here on the Conquistador. Industrial facilities across the country need technicians that can maintain, diagnose, and repair complex machines and equipment. If you're looking for a challenging and rewarding career with endless opportunities, get trained as an industrial machine mechanic. Thanks to our partnerships with Tyson and Empirical Foods, we provide top-notch training, so you'll be ready to enter the industry right away. The Industrial Machine Mechanic Program at Garden City Community College. From here, you can go anywhere. Back on the Bronquester Sports Network, Dalton Janicek, Dodge City trying to punch one in quick before the halftime break. 15 seconds to go. Big throw down the center. Looks to get intercepted, and it is the number 20. Brings it up on the interception. Now up to 30, 35. He's got blockers. Cuts up the left side, gets tripped up at the 42-yard line. 
And that was the number 20 of Xavius Robertson on the interception for Garden City. And a big time Dodge City on a miscue again. And they had a perfect opportunity to punch one into the end zone going into the halftime break. They had 17 seconds to do something with it. But Robinson was in the right place at the right time on an underthrow. And Garden City will take the field with two seconds left to go before the halftime break. So we'll see. And Garden City will use one of their timeouts, so they got two to go. That will use up one as Thomas Minnick will discuss the option here. Two seconds only left to go on the board, so more than likely it'll be a Hail Mary kind of throw or either he'll change it up here in the timeout and just play smart with the ball. But Zay Robertson was able to pick off Rashad McGee for the interception. And Garden City able to get the ball back right before the half, keeping Dodge City from putting any score up before they get the ball back in the second half. So William Gregg will attempt the field goal from the 39-yard line. Actually, he'll be kicking from the 45. Kick is up. Long, short, and flag on the play. So that might help Garden City to get a little bit. Flag came in the backfield of the Conquistadors. And it'll be a false start, actually, on the Bronx Busters. And it'll bring up a five-yard penalty. And more than likely, the Bronx Busters will not try to go for the kick. And so there will be two seconds left to go. And Garden City with only six. And now they'll bring out the rest of the unit. But more than likely, Garden City will go for the kneel and head into the halftime break leading the Dodge City Conquistadors 20 to nothing. Snap back, they go for it. He's got a lot of time, a lot of space. Now the throw to the middle. He'll cut right. It was Edgar, or excuse me, David Elder on the reception and that'll do it for the first half. Dodge City unable to convert any points in the first half and the Bronx Busters Head into the locker room, leading 20 to nothing over the biggest Jayhawk rival. And we'll be back in two minutes here on the Bronx Buster Sports Network. We'll go over your halftime show then. But Garden City heads into the locker room, leading over Dodge City 20 to nothing here in a big Jayhawk matchup. Don't go anywhere on the Bronx Buster Sports Network.
man. Welcome back inside of the Bronkbuster Sports Network. Dalton Janicek, and welcome inside of our Calzanetti Group halftime show. 16 minutes to go for the halftime. As Dodge City going through their homecoming ceremonies here. Let's go through some of your first half stats. Your first half stats brought to you by Papa John's Pizza in Garden City. Overall, first downs, Garden City with 11. Dodge City had only five first downs in the first half. Rushing yards, Garden City was 21 for 132, and Dodge City for 13 of one. Passing yards, net, Garden City with 126. Dodge City with only 24. And passing attempts and completing attempts, Garden City went 21 for 14 on one interception. Dodge City went for 11 and four on one interception so far tonight. Total offensive plays, Garden City was 42 for 258 yards. Dodge City went 24 for only 25 yards, and that tells you a lot right there for the Conquistadors as they trail 20 to nothing here inside of the first half. Garden City, though, let's take a look and see what really did help with that offense, those offensive stats if we just read them off there. William Knight started the night off with a 49-yard touchdown, the rush up and put it up seven to nothing. Then Jason Hernandez came in and connected for 27 yard field goal, split it through the uprights, extended that lead for Garden City 10 to nothing. Then William Gregg blew up a 44 yard field goal for a 13-0 lead against Dodge City in the second quarter. And then finally, Favier Okave with a five yard reception and that extended Garden City's lead 20 to nothing over the Conquistadors heading into the half. So a lot of your offensive numbers coming from those four plays right there and a lot of great running from Davion Hodges. He's been on fire all night. We'll get to his stats here in a moment. Fumble return yards, Garden City on nothing. Dodge City has nothing. Punt return yards, Garden City's two of 15 yards. Dodge City's one of 12 yards. Kickoff return yards, Garden City's one of 25. Dodge City is one of 23. An interception returning yards with Dodge City. One of 12, Garden City's two on 15. And uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and look at some of your statistics coming from Dodge City in specific. Rushing Cameron Faison for 30 yards gain, no loss on only 30 yards. Tyler Curtis on 19 yards, four loss. He's averaging 2.5 in the first half. Mel Dantzler on no gain, two loss. And Rashad McGee on no gains, 42 yards loss in the first half. That tells you a lot about the Dodge City, or excuse me, about the Garden City defense right there. 42 yards lost on your quarterback, Rashad McGee. Passing yards, Dodge City. McGee was four of 11 on one interception for 24 yards and 11 long yards and one sack. Receiving wise, Zarin Benicki had 11 yards on no touchdowns. Willie Gaines had eight yards, excuse me, no touchdowns. Mitchell with four yards and Cameron Faison on one yard. Corey Wilholt came in and put up 211 yards on punting. Willie Gaines on the return for 12 yards so far in the first half. Fred Efford with 23 yards on kick returns in the first half. Trayvon Moore, A. Quinney, Brandon Harris, and Thaddeus Harris, all with a couple tackles. Trayvon Moore was 5 of 1. Anthony Quinney was 3 of 3. 
Brandon Hardy was three of one and Thaddeus Harris was three of oh. No sacks in the first half for Dodge City, but that's gonna change as we now head over to your Garden City's first half stats. Garden City's first half stats are brought to you by the Lewis Group in Garden City. Visit them at Lewis Automotive there on the corner of Kansas, or excuse me, on the corner of Fulton and Campus, right there in Garden City. Great lot, great selection to choose from. So 12 minutes left to go here in the first half. Let's go over your first half stats for Garden City. Davion Hodges was for 57 yards tonight on no touchdowns. He's averaging 14.2 yards so far tonight. William Knight on 57 yards gain, no loss. He's got one touchdown tonight. He's averaging 11 yards so far. Diedrich Talbert with 25 on the game. He's lost five so far going into the halftime break. Matthew Purnell with nine gain, two loss. He's averaging about 1.8 so far. Rhett Rickendorf, he's for 13 of 20 with one yard or one interception for 121 yards, one touchdown, no sacks. Matthew Purnell, the other quarterback playing tonight for the Bronx Busters. He's one of one on no interceptions for five yards. For receiving yards for Garden City, Davion Hodges went for 48 yards. Charles went for 12. Vontarius Hill for 17 and David Elder for 21. William Gregg punting wise, he went for 69 yards. He's averaging 34.5. And he's got one ball within the 20 yard line. Punt returns, Keelon Kennedy doing some good work. 15 yards so far tonight. And uh, kick returns as well, 25 yards for a total combined of 40. And uh, tackles, here comes the big numbers for the tackles and sacks. Uh, Tyrese Gibson with two and one. Alexander Lemon with one and two. Robertson is one and one. And Hill, one and one. And uh, we'll go over your scoring break here. We kind of went over here at the beginning of the halftime show, but scoring by numbers. Uh, at the 10-27 mark back in the first quarter, William Knight went for a 49 touchdown run. And... Greg, or William Gregg was able to get it up for the conversion that extended Garden that started Garden City's night off seven to zero. Then 3:21 left to go in the first quarter. Garden City William Gregg was able to put up a 20-yard field goal, and that would extend Garden City's lead ten to nothing with 5:26 left to go in the first quarter. Head of the second quarter, William Gregg another beautiful put up in the air splits the uprights 43-yard field goal. And he went four for five there with 121 left to go in the second. And it extended Garden City's lead 13 to nothing. And then with only 37 seconds left to go in the second half, Favior Okave made it for a three yard pass from Rhett Rickendorf, or excuse me, <clears throat> yeah. Rhett Rickendorf. And that would extend Garden City's lead to 20. So let's take a look at your first half stats brought to you by the Calzanetti Group in Garden City. Got about nine minutes left to go before the teams will take the field. Once again, your kickers, a couple Garden City kickers, Dodge City kickers on the field now going over some kicks. So we'll step aside for a couple minutes. And we'll be back here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
uh, North Platte Community College in North Platte, Nebraska. On Monday, the golf teams are in action. Women's golf in Pueblo, Colorado. Men in Kansas City. And women's in volleyball in action tomorrow night in Lamar, Colorado. On Tuesday the 12th, women's golf will still be in Pueblo. Men's golf in Kansas City. Baseball will be at the DDR Athletic uh, Showcase. That is a basketball, actually. And a softball versus Garcia Community College here in Dodge City at 2 o'clock. That's on Tuesday. Welcome back inside of the Bronkbuster Sports Network. Dalton Janicek bringing you live coverage of the Dodge City Conquistadors and the Garden City Bronkbusters as both teams taken back to the respective sidelines coming out of the halftime break. Three minutes until we kick off into the second half. Some interesting scores coming out of the NJC, NJCAA tonight, especially the Jayhawk Conference. Let's take a look at some of the games that happened on today. Butler won over Highland 41-7. Fort Scott got their first win of the season over RPA and Independence on a tight matchup on the road in Hutchison. They won 33-28 over the Blue Dragons. And now a big national shakeup, and this is going to change up the rankings. The number one Snow College lost to number four Iowa Western today, 17-14. So that's going to bring a big change up in the top five rankings for the NJCAA as number four Iowa Western takes over number one Snow, 17 to 14 today. I were at Badger Stadium. That was a good home standing for Snow and a great opportunity to take on a number five opponent, and they dropped that game by four, or excuse me, by five to Iowa Western.
Once again, Jayhawk Conference games going on today. Butler winning over Highland, 41-7. Fort Scott picks up their first win, 43-0 shutout on RPA College. And then Indy takes on the Hutchinson Blue Dragons and wins, 33-28. Coffeyville playing tonight, as long with Garden City waiting for this game to get over with. Coach Minnick and the Bronc Busters close to making it a 56 and 22 kind of night. Thomas Minnick comes into tonight's game 17 and 6 at Garden City Community College. He's 128 and 41 overall in his career. He's the third time all time winning as coach in the NJCAA. And you got to say the man never loses only six losses in his only three seasons at the college. That's an average of two losses per season. And still, it's unfortunate this team has not made it to a national title game since 2016. They've had the teams arguably to do it the past couple of years, but have yet to see a national championship since the 16th season. Dodge City going to try to come out of this half and try to reverse what Garden City has done. They trail by 20, and you can't say it hasn't been done before because take back to 2019 when Garden City played here the last time at Memorial Stadium. Garden City went into the halftime break, trailing 27 and nothing to the Conquistadors, came back and won the game 42 to 27 and held Dodd City to no score back in 2019, the last time this Bronc Buster team, oh, mentioned that was Thomas Minnick's first season in the Bronc Busters head coach. So, Minnick probably was excited to get back here to Memorial Stadium to see what the Bronx Busters can put on damage to the Conquistadors. Garden City will kick it away as Dodge City won the toss and deferred back in the beginning of the game. And it will be interesting to see what Dodge City can do out of the halftime break. Kick is away and deep. It'll be brought back from the two-yard line. Brings it up down the left side. Blows up a defender at around the 30-yard line. And the flag will be thrown in the backfield. And it'll be, might be a legal block from the 41. I believe that was Cottrell Caldwell. So it'll be unsportsmanlike conduct on Dodge City. So it'll be first down from Dodge City's own 14-yard line. So coming out of the halftime break, Dodge City's going to be on their own 14-yard line. Miserable field position. Two receivers on the near side, one on the far, one in the back. McGee takes the snap back, hands off. It'll be it'll be Curtis up the left side. Curtis breaks the 25-30. He's at the 40, gets brought down out of bounds at the Garden City sideline. And Tyler Curtis takes a quick run up the left side for the opening drive in the second half. And Dodge City with a big conversion. Flagged in the backfield, though, and it's going to bring it back on Dodge. Three flags on Dodge City territory. And that's gonna be a big hurt for the Conquistadors. Curtis had a big gain and could have converted on a first down. And it'll be holding on the number 73 on Jalen Dunbar. Jalen Dunbar pulling the holding call for the Conquistadors with 14.45 in the opening second half. And that's gonna push the Conquistador Offense back to their own seven yard line. First down and 17. Play clock starts. Receivers two on the near side, one on the far. Rolls to the right, back in the end zone. He's under pressure, gets caught up, brought down, and it was gonna be the number six of Shemar Pearl. Pearl gets in the backfield along with Demarius Johnson. 
And a big defensive blow up in the backfield for the Bronx Busters. Almost got a safety out of it, but McGee had an amazing way of getting out of the safety. But still, now it's going to be second down 21 on their own three-yard line. And Dodge City coming out on a struggle bus once again out of the halftime break. They got the ball back. And now with 14 minutes left to go, they've given up two downs already and a penalty. And a loss of yards from Shemar Pearl. Now the snap back, handoff to Curtis. He Curtis gets brought down in the backfield. It'll be a safety for Garden City. And Tyler Curtis gets brought down in the backfield by a group of Bronc Busters. And the safety. So now it'll be 22 to zero over Dodge City after a herd of Bronc Busters breaks up through the backfield and brings back McGee, or excuse me, Tyler Curtis rather, on the, on the rush. And Curtis had nowhere to go up the left side and got swallowed up in the Dodge City end zone. So 22 to nothing, and Garden City will get the ball back now after the safety. So special teams will take to the field. Dodge City now going to have to kick it away from their own 20-yard line. And just the, the cues of penalties and missed calls and unfortunate breaks for the Conquistador continue. With 13.47 left to go in the first half, Dodge City now on a safety that puts two points on the board for the Bronc Busters. And, oh, by the way, Garden City will get the ball back here. Still 13 minutes left to go in the first half. It was Jacob Hollins on the wrap up in the end zone. To help the Bronc Busters edge up two more points on the board. Landon Gurdenary gets it away. So about 32 yards is where Garden City will end up starting their drive. Here in the second half, 13:40, and they'll start from their own 32-yard line. So three receivers near side, one far. Knight in the backfield. He'll take the ball, go up the middle, get swallowed up. Defense will blow up the hole there, and that was the number 90 of Colby Smith. He's the nose guard getting into the backfield, reading that play really quick there. And it'll be a loss of two yards. So second down and 12 from Garden City's own 30-yard line. 13 minutes and about 15 left to go here in the third quarter. The Bronx Busters lead 22-0. Three receivers near side, one far. Knight in the backfield. Now, handoff to Knight. Knight tries to break free of the D-line. Flag thrown in the backfield. More than likely will come back on Garden City. We'll see what the call is. And there will be no foul on the play, actually, so... So it'll be third down and 12, Garden City zone 30 yard line. It'll be two receivers each side, Knight in the backfield. Knight left side, pass back, rolls left, quick throw, dives down and it'll be caught. That was the number 88 of Sean Charles. And Charles will convert on the first down. A beautiful diving catch to get back to the ball and picks it right before the turf and brings in a first down for the Bronc Busters. 12.30 left.
go here in the third quarter. New sets of downs in Garden City. Going to try to push it into Dodge City territory from their own 43. Two receivers each side. Knight still in the backfield. Drops back into the pocket. Has times now breaking free defender. He's got to get rid of it. Rolls back. Now right. He's got blockers. Now sneaks up the middle. Now he's going to be taking it up the middle. Sliding play. And he'll come down at the 50-yard line as Rhett Rigadorf was under a lot of pressure. He had time in the pocket, but exposure came up on the right side as a conquistador broke free. It was Colby Smith, and Colby Smith was putting a lot of pressure there on Rickdorf. Rickdorf drops back. Throws one, launches one far out into the 20-yard line, far right side. Way over any receiver's head, but it won't be for an intentional grounding there. So third down and four, Garden City zone 49 yard line. A little under 11.30 to go here in the third quarter. Timeout will be called. No? Correction, no timeout called on the field. Under 20 seconds to go on the play clock. Got plenty of time. Three receivers right, one on the near side. Snap back. Drops in the pocket. Gets rid of it out around the 40-yard line. It'll be caught by David Elder. Elder will bring it out of bounds, and it'll convert for a first down. David Elder on the receive on the right side. Took it out of bounds at around the 40-yard line. And it'll actually be out at the 38-yard line. So first set of new set of downs, first down and 10. And Garden City will get within Dodge City territory here with 11 minutes left to go in the third quarter. Garden City leads by 22 after a safety and getting the ball back on Dodge City's opening drive. Snap back, gets rid of it, middle throw. It was intended for Elder, and Elder couldn't get a piece of it. It was too high off of his left shoulder and went well into the backfield of the Dodge City secondary. So tie formation now for Garden City. Hand off to Knight. Knight will sneak up the right side. He'll break three of a couple of ten defenders, and he'll bring it out around the 31-yard line. And it'll be a good gain for the Bronquesters, as now it'll be third down and three from their own 31, Dodge City's own 31-yard line. Two receivers, left and right. Knight in the backfield once again. Snap back, drops in the pocket. High throw to the left side. Elder on a dropping receive. Drops it right between the arms and a penalty flag comes flying in the backfield. So flag in the secondary for Dodge City. And it could be passing interference here. We'll see what the official says as Elder had a good look at the ball. It'll be a holding on the number 73, actually. And so bring up a new set of downs for Garden City as they're within two or one yard of the red zone. Snap back, hand off tonight. He'll break up the middle, breaks a couple of tackles, and he'll finally bring it up at around the 12, 13 yard line. It'll bring up second down in about four, maybe two actually. So second down and one on Dodge City's own 12 yard line, under 10 minutes to go here in the third quarter. 
Garden City trying to punch one in again and extend their lead over the Conquistadors, their biggest rival in the Jayhawk Conference. Mind you, Dodge City has not won against this team since 2015. And Dodge City came in tonight looking to do everything possible to change that around. The handoff tonight, the fake throw. Knight breaks three, a couple defenders at the five, breaks into the end zone. Touchdown, William Knight, and no flag this time. This one will count, and William Knight will bring in a touchdown for the Bronc Busters after the one earlier in the first half was taken away on a Garden City penalty, and they had to put one up on the board for a three-point conversion and William Knight will take on his first touchdown of the night. And Garden City extends their lead 28 to nothing. Under 10 minutes left to go. 9.25 on the clock. William Gregg will put it up in through the uprights. And Gregg has not missed a beat all night. 9.25 left to go. Garden City on top of the Conquistadors 29 to 0. We'll take it with them. Be back all right here on the Brockbuster Sports Network. Industrial facilities across the country need technicians that can maintain, diagnose, and repair complex machines and equipment. If you're looking for a challenging and rewarding career with endless opportunities, get trained as an industrial machine mechanic. Thanks to our partnerships with Tyson and Empirical Foods, we provide top-notch training, so you'll be ready to enter the industry right away. The Industrial Machine Mechanic Program at Garden City Community College. From here, you can go anywhere. A safety puts two points on the board. Garden City gets the ball back here in the third quarter and William Knight on a 12 yard rush up the left side as he scrambles into the end zone and brings in Garden City's score 29 to zero with only 925 left in the third quarter. Dodd City's really struggling to have an answer for the Bronquesters tonight as the Bronquesters on the road, only an hour drive from the great Garden City over to the city of Dodge here at Memorial Stadium. Cool, breezy night here in Dodge as Garden City will kick it away once again to Dodge. Dodge will receive it up the middle. Cuts up and it'll be brought down out around the 23 yard line. That was the number 81. Of Imra. So it'll be first and 10 when Dodge City starts their drive from their own 22 yard line. And a team that's kept it within 20 points on all their opponents, number four, Iowa Western, they only lost 14 to 38. Only kept it with 13 to 22 against number nine, Coffeyville, 10 away from winning against Butler. And they've now struggling here as the pass was intended for the number 12. It was intended for the number 12 of Eli Turner. Turner unable to get the ball in for the reception. And he'll bring up second down and 10, still from their own 22 yard line. 9.15 on the clock, 20 seconds counting down on the play clock. Two tight receivers on the left side, one on the far side. Two backs in the backfield, now motion on the back side, reverses back, up the right side, spins free, gets blocked and brought down by the number two of Xavier Peters. Peters was there to bring down the run. And it'll bring a, a couple yards. It'll be third down and six, still on Dodge City's 26 yard line. So, 
This Garden City defense only allowing 196 yards allowed. They've only allowed 50 rushing yards so far. 146 of those were passing yards. Garden City's defense only allows 20 points a game. Snap back under pressure, gets wrapped up, and he's going to get brought down by Chris Carter. Chris Carter able to get in the backfield, and the penalty flag comes flying high in the air. Actually, no, it would be by the number 99 of... So the tackle was brought down actually by the 99 of Ve Somalo. It'll be a personal foul on Garden City, as expected. So, 15-yard penalty on the Bronkbusters, and you actually have leeway to make those mistakes. Not what you really want to do. You don't want to have any mistakes going into a football game. But Garden City almost up by 30 points. They can allow a few mistakes here and there. But a team that came into the night with 42 penalties, you definitely didn't want to see any come in to tonight. Eight minutes left to go on the clock here in the third quarter. First and 10 on Dodge City's own 34-yard line. Big blow up the gap from the Garden City defense, but... So Faison will bring it up the right side for a gain of a couple yards. And it'll be second down and one. Actually, second down and two, rather, from Dodge City's own 42-yard line. Snap back, fake handoff, and a quick throw low down onto the turf, almost caught. It was intended for... <clears throat> I believe the number 18 of Palsy. I could be wrong, though. And actually, no, it was intended for the number 81 of <clears throat> uh, Fred Efford. Efford went for the diving catch and had a tip on it, but the ball just hit the turf too quick. So 7.20 left on the clock in the third quarter. And that's going to be a false start. And that'll be on the Conquistadors false start. With 7.20 to go here in the third quarter. And it came on the center, Anthony Torres. Three receivers far side and one near. Tyler in the backfield. Snap back, under pressure, gets swallowed up, gets the ball away in time. And he got blown up by the 92 of Alexander Lemon. Lemon got in the backfield and caused issues there for McGee. And this Garden City defense showing up and showing out once again on Dodge City's drive. 7.15 to go here in the third quarter as Garden City leads 29 to nothing over the Conquistadors. Garden City making big work here on their conference rival tonight. Snap back, punt will go high and back. It'll go way over Kennedy's head. And it'll roll back out at around the two yard line. 
And that'll be an unfortunate call there by Keelan Kennedy not taking the run up and lets it go over his head. 706, we'll take a break here. Your Dodge City, or excuse me, your Garden City Bronkbusters lead 29 to nothing over the Dodge City Conquistadors. It'll be first down on their own two yard line when we come back. Seven oh six left to go. First down and ten. Garden City zone two yard line. They got a lot of work to do from there. Knight will bring it up for a couple yards, and that'll at least give Garden City some cushion, at least, in the backfield. Six fifty to go. Clock still running. Second down and six on their own six yard line. Both teams still have all three timeouts to work with. Dodge City probably needing them more than Garden will. Snap back, hand off tonight. He'll break a tackle, another one, spins right, and brings up a couple more yards, and it'll bring third down and for four on their own eight yard line. Snap back, quick pass, and it'll be caught by It'll be a first down, and the catch was brought in by Vontarius Hill. Hill's had a, got a couple good looks so far tonight. Under six minutes to go. Garden City really trying to run this clock down and get inside of the fourth quarter and really just take off with this game. Belt high snap, hands off tonight. He'll break a couple tackles up the right side. Tries to break free, but he was swarmed up by some conquistadors. So Jalon Beasley bringing the tackle down on Knight. So second down and nine on their own 15 yard line. When they started on their two-yard line, Garden City trying to make some quick work and get into Dodge City territory. Hand off to Knight. He'll cut up the middle. Big block and big hit there as he gains in more yards for the Bronkbusters. It'll be a gain of about six, and it'll bring up third down and one. Under 4.35 left to go, third quarter. Garden City trying to push into Dodge City territory. They still got about 30 yards to go. Actually 20. Purnell now back in the quarterback spot. Hand off fake, now it'll be quarterback keep up the right side, he's got blockers, they'll keep him going. The push and it'll be enough for the first down as Purnell had a quarterback keep and kept it up the right side. He had a couple of blockers to help him guide up the right hash mark. And it'll move the chains once again. It'll bring up first down and 10 from their own 30. Quick throw, caught now, brought down midfield. It was the number 88 of Sean Charles. And a great reception and connection there from, from Rissendorf to Charles. Now the handoff to nine, now the 20, 25, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Bronk Busters. And Diedrich Tauber takes it to the house 
from the 45 yard line and Garden City blowing this game away 35 to zero now with only 327 left to go in the third quarter and Garden City has taken control of this ship and the Conquistadors unsure of what just happened and a silent home crowd So Greg, snap back, punt, kick is good. It'll be an offsides on the Conquistadors, but he'll split the uprights in Garden City. We'll extend their lead, 36 to nothing. So we'll take it with them as Diedrich Talbert brings it into the end zone on a rushing touchdown and extends Garden City's lead 35 to nothing over the rival Dodge City. All right here on the Bronquester Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. An absolute blowout elimination here. 327 left to go in the third quarter. Dalton Janicek with the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Hope everyone's enjoying the broadcast tonight as Garden City leads 36 to nothing over conference rival Dodge City. As Diedrich Talbert goes for 46 yards and the touchdown. As Garden City now will be Kicking it away once again with a big lead on the Kongs. And he'll receive it back. Bring it up the left side, 20, 25, 30. He's got blockers out at the 40 yard line. He'll be brought out of bounds. And there'll be a penalty and it's gonna be on Dodge City. And it'll be a penalty. And it'll be on the Conquistadors. It'll be on the 41, I believe. And it will be. It was on the number 41 of, <clears throat> that was Kentrell Caldwell, who brought up the penalty for the Conquistadors. And it almost seems like Garden City has handed over their penalty issue and their ball handling issues over to the Conquistadors tonight. They just said, here, here's this present wrapped up in a bow and we're gonna give it to you. Garden City has really cleaned up a lot of their issues coming into tonight. And now Dodge City will start their drive on the, their own 11 yard line. It'll be first down and 10 with about 318 to work with in the third quarter. Garden City in the first half controlled the clock, 18, and 20, 18 minutes and 25 seconds they controlled compared to Dodge City's 11 minutes and 35 seconds. Now Dodge City, fake motion up the side. Now quick cut back, Tyler Curtis will get a couple of yards, be shy of the first down. It'll bring up second down in about five. Maybe second and four. Three to go here in the third corner at Memorial Stadium. Garden City hasn't missed a beat with the Conquistador since 2015 in a game they only lost by 10 prior to Minnick's era. Minnick in his third season with the Bronx Busters now hand off up the middle, be swallowed up by the defense. Johnson was in there, Pearl was in there. Robinson was a part of that. Dodge 
So bring up third down and four. Dodge City's own 17-yard line. They need to convert here. Dodge City has only been able to get into Garden City territory one time tonight. As the Garden City defense has held them accountable. Fake motion. Now the handoff up the middle will be swallowed up once again. And that was... Looks like it was the number. Sean Smith was able to get back there and stop the Dodge City rush. So fourth down and six. Dodge City will be forced to kick it away here. With only 120 left running clock here at Memorial Stadium. And a cool and gloomy night for the Conquistadors. Looking to upset the Bronkbusters, number eight coming into the night in the nation. And that ball will roll up the sideline and it will roll out of bounds. And they're going to spot it at the 30, 38, 37 yard line. Take a quick 30 second timeout as teams take the field. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back in 30. Under a minute to go here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Garden City has the ball back. They lead 36 to nothing over the conference rival Dodge City. Snap back, hand off to, to Talbert. Talbert. Talbert breaks the 35, gets swallowed up there at the 30. And Talbert breaks free for about a 20 yard gain. And it'll automatically be a first down with only 35 or 40 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Diedrich Talbert broke free for about a 20-yard gain, and it moves the chains all the way down to the 30-yard line, Dodge City Territory. Three receivers right, one left. Snap back, back into the pocket, gets rid of it down the middle, almost intercepted. The number 16 of Anthony Quinney was there. He almost could have had it. It was just a little bit to his left, and Quinney was almost in interception range. That'll be the second interception of the night for Garden City. So 24 seconds on the board in the third quarter. Second down and 10 still on Garden or still on Dodge City's 30-yard line. Second down and 10. Snap back, quick throw to the right, caught by Elder, and he'll get a couple yards. It'll be about five for David Elder. And this clock is gonna expire with under five seconds to go as we head in the fourth quarter. Garden City leads 36 to nothing over the Dodge City Conquistadors here at Memorial Stadium in Dodge City as the Bronkbusters have been flawless all night on both sides of the ball. We'll take a one minute time out, be back and get you set up for your fourth quarter. Don't miss a beat, all right here on the Bronkbuster Sports Network.
Back inside of the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. 15 minutes until Garden City improves the record 3-2. and two. Now a quick throw out to the left side. Right in between Elder's arms at the 10-yard line, and he couldn't get it in in time. And Elder misses that reception. It'll bring up fourth and six on their own 26-yard line. A big drive made by Garden City, especially on a 32-yard rush by Talbert right before the quarter break. And now Garden City's going to go for it. Why not? You're up by 36 points. You got nothing to lose here. Maybe it, almost a perfect game from the defense. You might give that up. Now tapped up. Almost could have been intercepted there, but that was the 95 of Jelani Davis getting a tip on it. And it'll be turnover on downs. Dodge City will take over from their own 26-yard line with 14.50 to go here in the fourth quarter. Rushing yards there in the third quarter. Garden City went 34 for 264 yards. Dodge City was only 21 for two. Passing yards, Garden City went for 186 and passing attempt completed. They went 25, 29 and 19. So far, Garden City's at 63 of 450 yards total offense. Garden City though on 27 minutes of possession times, that's 10 more than Dodge City has had all night. So Garden City definitely controlling this clock as Dodge City trying to make something happen with 14.50 to go here. They're down by 36. Now the reverse out to Tyler Curtis and Curtis brings it up for a couple more yards on the left side. Garden City tonight, interesting statistic. Garden City has went 9 of 14 on third down conversions compared to Dodge City's only 1 of 8. Garden City's had 8 penalties for 87 yards. Dodge City 7 for 75. Now the hand up up the middle. Tyler Curtis will get a couple more yards and you'll be shy of the first down. And it'll be third down in about 2 from Dodge City's 35 yard line. So about 14 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Garden City more than likely will pick up their third win of the season. But still 14 minutes on the clock. Conquistadors could do a lot with it here. Hand off up the middle once again. It was Curtis and... And it'll be short of the first down. And it'll bring up fourth down and one. Question now, if you're Dodge City, you got nothing really to lose anymore, so why not go for it? You got 13 minutes left to go. Obviously, you don't want Garden City to put in another touchdown if you do turn over on downs or kick it away here, but Dodge City just really has no other choice. If they want to put a... They want to put a touchdown on the board or even a three-point conversion. They're going to have to go for it here. Fourth down and one on their own 35-yard line. 13 to go in the fourth and final quarter. Snap back, handoff, and it'll be a keep. Quarterback keep and gets blown up by the dot or the Garden City defense. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Dodge City had to go for the risk there, and it obviously didn't pay off. Fourth down and one. But you're down 36 points. you got to do something at some point. And it obviously did not pay off for the Conquistador. So Garden City will reset their offense here. An offense that has been absolutely turnaround stellar compared to the last two weeks against two tough opponents within the Jayhawk Conference. They lost to number six Indy two weeks ago at home. Then lost to the defending state or the national champions of Hutchison in a game that Minnick said that we think we could have won. Now the quick throw out to the left side. Elder will break free. He had a all the way up to the 22 yard line. And Elder having a stellar night out on the receiving side of things. 1245 clicking away here on the clock. First down and 10 from their from the Dodge City 19. 
Two left, two right. And they're going to make sure the play clock was reset. Yep, there it goes. So 25 back on the board for Garden City. And so now two left, two right. Snap back, handoff tonight. Or no, that was Talbert. Talbert will break up the left side, left hash. Swarmed. And Talbert will bring it up for about a gain of about eight yards. And it'll bring up second down and three. So an eight yard gain there by Talbert. Excuse me, seven yard gain rather. Close enough, 12 minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Garden City looking to come home on a victorious win. Talbert gets the handoff again. He'll bring it up for maybe a gain of a yard, not even. It'll be third down and one. Motion left, Hodges goes on the fake motion, keep up the middle, and Garden City will convert on a first down, Purnell on a quarterback, keep up the middle. So under 11 minutes to go, in the fourth quarter here at Memorial Stadium. Garden City on a new set of downs and they're within goal range. Now to keep up the middle and Purnell will be brought down for a gain of about a couple yards, maybe three, four. And it'll bring up second down and two on the Dodge City two yard line. And Garden City looking to strike once again and put the nail in the coffin here on Dodge. Motion right, snap back. Quarterback key, Purnell puts it in. And for the touchdown, Purnell for the quarterback keep up the left hash. And Garden City extends their lead 42 to nothing with 10 minutes left to go. And at this point, Garden City might as well just stop all offensive extortion and save your players for the next week. Garden City plays Coffeeville at Coffeeville next week. Or it's actually, no, in two weeks, Garden City will have a bye this next week and have a tough conference opponent and especially a top 10 nation team. Kick is up and it's blocked. And it was caught. So. Block is kicked, doesn't matter. Garden City still up 42 to nothing. 10-15 left to go here in the fourth and final quarter. We'll take it with them, be back, and we'll wrap up your fourth quarter all right here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network.
Kick is gone and away back here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network, Network and it'll be a touchback, 10-15. Left to go for an outstanding blowout game for the Bronkbusters. 42 to nothing here over the Conquistadors. Dodge City is unable to put any score up on the board tonight. And Dodge City has actually only been able to convert into Garden City territory one time so far in this contest. So far tonight, Garden City has really controlled this game. 27 minutes and 24 seconds, Garden City has controlled the ball. 17 minutes and 30 seconds for Dodge City. They've only been able to have the ball for under 20 minutes so far this game. It'll be a penalty on Dodge City. It'll be half the distance to the goal, so that ball will be spotted at Dodge City's own 13-yard line. And once again, penalties are affecting this Conquistador offense. So snap back, handoff to Curtis. He's going to get swallowed up by a Bronkbuster defensive swarm. Johnson was in there. Pearl was in there. Basically half of the defensive secondary was back there to swallow it up too. And we got an injured Bronkbuster now. Slow to get up, but it looks like he'll get up. It was a 31 of... <clears throat> Excuse me, that was the 31 of Favia Tulafal. It's under 10 minutes to go here. Fake handoff right side, gets rid of it. Big cut there on the bring down. And it'll only be a gain of about a couple yards. It'll be now third down and about eight. So snap back, quick throw out to the right, almost intercepted. And Garden City almost got the interception off of the hands of Sean Smith. Smith almost had the interception there for the Bronkbusters. And now Garden City will get set back to return as Dodge City will be forced to punt here with 9-14 left to go in this game. Whistle will blow. So it'll come back on Dodge. So they're going to say it was a delay of game. And it's going to just push Dodge City back into worse territory to get this ball away. And now your punter has got to put it out right on the D of demons in the end zone some of my question will Dodge City they're the conquistadors well Dodge actually plays here at Memorial Stadium home of the Red Demons as the college does not have its own stadium so kick back Keelon Kennedy scrambles with it there now he'll come up the half and get past the 50 yard line and now Garden City will be in good field territory once again with 9.02 left to go here in the game. 42 0 Garden City. We'll be back in 30 as the offense and defense will take the field. Don't go anywhere, all right, here on the Southwest Kansas Sports Network.
9.02 to go. Hands off to Talbot. He'll sneak right. Now out to the 45. Gets swallowed up finally. And it was the 28 of Freeman. So Freeman able to bring up a couple yards. He'll get swallowed up finally. And it'll be second down now in four. With under eight minutes, now 8.35 to go. Jack Baltz now in for the quarterback. Snap back, quick throw to the left. It was intended for Keelan Kennedy. Or excuse me, correction, that was number 11 of Hodges. So bring up third down and four on Dodge City's 43 yard line. Garden City can basically do what they want here. Two receivers left, two right. Snap back, throws it, Hodges catches it at the 20, or excuse me, the 33 yard line, and Hodges will convert for the first down. Snap back, throw intended for Hodges out on the left side. Now it'll be a pass interference call. Flag comes flying in, and actually it was Freeman out there on the intended receive. Or actually, no, correction, it was the 81, my bad. It was the 81 intended for the reception. And the 81 and Jarman was intended. So pass interference will go on Dodge, and that's going to march Garden City closer to the end zone, under eight minutes to go. Two left, two right, snap back, handoff now to Freeman. Freeman will bring up the right side, spin around, get swallowed up at around the 20 yard line. And it's not even a gain for one. So 7.30 clicking away here. Garden City will come home three and two on the season. Funny statistic here though, Garden City would, this would make them three and O on away games and it's still O and two on home turf. Garden City has yet to get a win at Bronquester Stadium this year. They've got one more chance later on against Butler for the final game of the regular season this year. Snap back now, thrown, it'll be blocked out as the number 95 of Jelani Davis. Excuse me, Dante Williams with the blocked pass. So now under seven minutes. Garden City going to take their time with it now. Snap back into the pocket. Quick throw down the middle and will be brought down by the 34. And Jones will get the reception. And the first down for the Bronx Busters. It'll put him down within eight yards of the end zone. With 640 clicking away here. In Dodge City. Man man Freeman in the 
Snap back, Waltz hands it off now to Freeman. Freeman breaks off the right side, five, end zone, touchdown. Freeman will put one in, and Garden City extends their lead now over the Conquistadors. 48 to nothing with about 6.15 left to go. And Freeman punches one in on a six, or excuse me, on an eight yard rushing touchdown. Punt is up and good. William Gregg not missing at all tonight as well. This whole Garden City team well-rounded even. You're too deep. So 6.18 left to go. We'll take it with them. 49 to nothing over Dodge City in a blowout game conference rivalry. All right here. Don't go anywhere. We'll bring you back in 30. Back inside of the Southwest Kansas Sports Network. Kick is back and away. It'll be a touchback with 6.18 left to go. Your Broncosters lead dominantly over the Conquistadors, 49 to nothing. What a game it has been for Garden City. Off to a rocky start to the start of the season. They started 2-0, and one against Fort Scott to start the season, 76-24 win. Then they went to Highland and had a lot of struggles. 15-6 win over Highland. Came back and played at home two weeks in a row. And took on the number six Indy Pirates. Lost 13-26. The Garden City led 13-0 going into the halftime break. And Independence was able to bring up 26 points. Or actually, no, 13-6 going into the half. And uh, 20 points gained in the second half for Independence. And then... A game that Garden City really should have won was last week against the defending national champions of Hutchison as Tyler Curtis gets the ball and he'll get swallowed up for a loss of about eight yards. And six minutes left to go. As Garden City lost last week 16 to 24 against the defending national champions. Clock ticking away here under six minutes, 5.50 to go. And Coach Minnick can go ahead and start packing up that bus. Get them ready to head back to the great city of Garden City. Only an hour drive over here to Dodge. Playing at Memorial Stadium, home of the Red Demons. 5.30 left to go. Snap back, hand off to Curtis. Swallowed up again. This defense is just not missing any cue. They are blowing up the hole. This defensive line is burying, or, or excuse me, Dodge City to a minimal. Yeah. 
Snap back. Hands off. It'll be the number 30 bringing the ball up. It'll be a gain of about eight for the number 30 of Martin. So under four minutes here, 425 actually left to go on clock. Fourth and eight on Dodge City Zone 27th yard line. And the Conquistadors forced to punt it away again. On a running clock here, Garden City. I already know that it's going to be a warm welcoming once they get back to Garden City tonight. Punt is away. Beautiful spiral punt. Now caught by Kennedy. Or actually, Hodges now. Hodges up the left side. And a penalty be thrown back. And it'll be a late hit on Dodge. And this rivalry, frustrations have all been coming from the Dodge City sideline. Garden City has actually held their composure all night against this rivalry. This is a game where we see a lot of words said and words exchanged. So 3.50 to go. Might be getting offsetting penalties here. So it'll be first down and 10 for the Garden City offense, depending on where they decide to place this penalty. It'll determine on what yard line they'll start it from. Officials, the official and referee still cussing and discussing over on the far side 50 yard line. One flag on Garden City's own 45, the other one on Dodge City's 45. So you gotta think these would offset. So will be holding on Dodge, a block and a bag on Garden. Those penalties will offset. And then the final foul will be a personal foul on Dodge City. So that will push Garden up more. And it'll put Garden City in the Dodge City territory with 3.50 left to go here in the final quarter. So 49-0, big blowout game here for Garden City. Some would think why keep going, but definitely want to keep seeing the power of this offense and defense still performing on stellar levels tonight. The offense performing better than ever all season. And the defense, of course, as expected, firing on all four cylinders tonight. 3.50 on the board. Garden City will be on Dodge City's 40-yard line on a fresh set of downs.
Hand off to Freeman. Freeman will get wrapped up around the 40. It won't be a gain of anything. It'll be second down and maybe nine. Actually, it'll be second down and 10. Running clock here under 3.30 to go. Garden City could really run the clock down here as they lead by 49 points. Baltz gets a snap back. Hands it off. Freeman now cuts up the left side. He'll get swallowed up by a big storm of the Conquistadors. It'll be a loss of one for the Bronkbusters. Now under three minutes to go here. Garden City trying to run this clock down as much as possible. 15 on the play clock. Snap back, looks the throw. Right side gets rid of it, and it will be caught at the 30 yard line. It was the number 82. It'll be a first down for Garden City. That was. Intended for Keyshawn Buckley. Buckley gets it at the 30-yard line, plucks it out of the air, and wraps it in around his chest for a first down conversion with about 2.15 left to go here in the fourth and final quarter. So two receivers left, two right. Freeman in the backfield. Hand off to him. He'll cut right up the middle. He'll get a couple yards, and he'll be brought down by a couple of conquistadors. So 49. So 130 left to go here, Garden City. We'll run this clock down some more, second down and seven. The snap back. Freeman will break up the left side. It'll be good enough for a first down, maybe short of one. We'll see what they do here. One minute left to go. And it will be short, third down and one. That's okay, under one minute to go here, Garden City will come home on a win over their rivals, Dodge City, on a 49 to nothing win. So 33 seconds left to go. Freeman takes it up, cuts left, cuts right, gets a couple yards. It'll be good enough for the first down. And they'll stop the clock. 27 left to go. And they'll keep the clock running, actually. I'm just going to go through uh, the statistics, and then we'll be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Garden City will come home on a win. They improve their record of three and two as they defeat conference rival Dodge City on the road once again as Dodge City has yet to win this game since 2015 and Garden City improves 56 and 22 in this matchup. We'll be back in about a minute. And today's post game will be brought to you by Papa John's Pizza for better pizza, better ingredients, Papa John's. Also, today, today's coverage was brought to you by Cal's and Eddie Group and Lewis Automotive. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in one minute. We'll get you your post game stats and we'll wrap it up all right here at Memorial Stadium. But Garden City wins on the road 49 to nothing. And the Bronkbusters improved 3 and 2 on the season and 3 and 2 in the conference. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 